renovated retirement with charlie jewett oh no i think i'm about to have another episode hello ladies and gentlemen charlie jewett with the renovating retirement podcast bringing you episode 71 this time coming from the wisconsin dells beautiful beautiful place i might be sunburned we'll see episode 71 It is called Avoid Paying Taxes on Social Security Income by Understanding the Tax Torpedo. The Tax Torpedo is a really strange name for a a serious problem we have, okay? So if you think taxes are going to go up, which we talked about in the last episode, you've got an issue already, and then all the money inside of your 401ks, IRAs, 403bs, TSPs, all those qualified plans, all that pre-tax money, wherever it is, all that pre-tax money is going to be taxed at higher rates later than it is today if you think taxes are going to go up. But there's a torpedo. There's another problem, which is that what determines whether you pay tax on your Social Security income and on how much of it, because you can pay tax on up to 85% of that income. If you're making 10000 a year, they can tax up to 8500 of that. What determines whether or not they can charge you taxes on your Social Security income is something called provisional income. And provisional income, uh, there's calculators and things for that to figure it out. But basically, one of the things that hurts it badly or drives it up would be distributions from IRAs and 401ks. So not only did the IRS convince everybody that postponing taxes to a later date would somehow be intelligent because you're supposed to be in a lower tax bracket for some reason, even though you don't have a mortgage, no kids staying at home, uh, you're not making contributions to tax deductible plans. Don't know why you'd be in a lower tax bracket, but they convinced everybody that you'd be in a lower tax bracket. So not only did they convince everybody to postpone taxes till later, and now they can raise tax uh, tax rates, but they are allowed to tax your Social Security income if you take money out of these IRAs and 401ks. And it's not that clean. It's not true for every person. But basically, it hurts you in another way to take money out of an IRA or a 401k. You have to pay the taxes on that. And then here's this example of the tax torpedo. You can look this up on YouTube. There's an advisor. Uh, You may see him on TV. His name is Doug Warren. lives about 45 minutes from me. Uh, But he did a great video about the tax torpedo. But basically what he's saying is pretend you're in retirement. And you're making a Social Security income of 34260 You don't need to memorize the numbers. They're not important. He picked them very specifically, so they're very important uh, in the sense that uh, to teach what he's teaching, they're, they're important. But 34000 basically, from Social Security. And then you take an IRA distributions or 401k distributions, some type of pre-tax money or, you know, that's taxable income today. You're taking a distribution of 26870 or roughly 27000 All right, so as a couple, you're making, you know, 60, 62,000 a year, whatever it is. Where you're taking it from, though, has some pretty devastating consequences if you want to take more money out to take a cruise or to play some golf or go see the grandkids. So what he shows in the video here is let's say you want to take one more dollar out of your IRA, okay? People don't do that. They probably take out, you know, a thousand or something for a cruise, but look what happens to every dollar above this 34,000 social security income and 26,000 and change of IRA income. So for every dollar you take out of an IRA, you're taxed on that dollar, of course, but because of the tax torpedo, it triggers another one of those dollars from your social security income, that 34,260, it triggers that another one of those dollars is allowed to be taxed or 85 cents of one of those dollars is allowed to be taxed. So you have a dollar coming out of an IRA, but because of the calculations, the way taxes are calculated, you actually have a dollar eighty-five of taxable income. I know it sounds weird, it sounds odd, maybe hard to follow. I'll do another example after this, but you only took a dollar out of your IRA, it triggers that eighty-five cents of another dollar from Social Security is allowed to be taxed because of the tax torpedo. So you have a dollar eighty-five of taxable income yet you're only holding a dollar that you took out of your IRA. If you're in only a 25% marginal tax bracket, and a lot of people may even be higher than that, but let's say you're in a 25% marginal tax bracket, 25% of $1.85 is 46 cents. So just picture this. You take a dollar out of your IRA, you're in a 25% tax bracket, 
But because of the tax torpedo, because of the triggering effect of allowing the IRS to tax your Social Security, you're paying 46 cents of that dollar or from somewhere else to the IRS. Well, doesn't that mean you're in retirement in the 46% tax bracket, kind of? Yes. So for money you take out of IRAs and 401ks, if you have the right numbers, that you're kind of the perfect storm of Social Security and IRA income, every time you go to take money out of your IRA, you could be paying you know, 40%, 46% taxes. So what does this mean? What's the other example I said I'd give you? Let's say you you know, see the, the deal of a century, you get a 15-day cruise for $3,000 for the two of you or whatever it is, right? So you want to take some money out of an IRA, you go and you take out the three thousand dollars. If this, if all of that is above your provisional income, meaning all of it's treated like this one dollar in in Doug's example, so you're going to be taxed at forty six percent because you have you know basically you take out three thousand dollars. Let's figure this out here: three thousand, boom, 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 times eighty five, blah, blah, blah. All right, so you you take out three thousand dollars from your IRA, but it allows the IRS to charge you taxes on $2,550 of your Social Security income. So we have a taxable income, all right, of $5,553, but you're only holding $3,000. Wow. <laughs> well, what's that? When you tax that at 25%, what's it end up being? What tax are you paying? Well, we're paying $1,387. So you get $3,000 out of an account and you have to pay thirteen or $1,380. 87 to taxes? That's a pretty high tax, right? The problem with this is that the cruise that you got a good deal on now <laughs> didn't cost you um, $3,000. It cost you more like $4,300 and some change because you had to take the $3,000 out of the IRA account and then you also have the $1,300 and change of taxes that were due. So that's, you know, think of that as a percentage. You're paying, you know, 40% more for these cruises or 40% more for anything that you have to take money out of an IRA to buy. So you can go look and see how to calculate provisional income online. You can see where this comes from. But suffice it to say, when you're in retirement, whether your Social Security income is taxed or not has everything to do with where you're taking your other income from. It's another reason I do a lot of Roth conversions and a lot of life insurance for tax-free distributions. We can't call it income, but for tax-free distributions to pay your bills. If you're not on a pension and you're not getting a bunch of rental income, you're just on Social Security and living off of assets. Having them not be IRAs and not be 401ks, but be converted to Roth or maybe taking money out of life insurance helps with provisional income and it keeps less of your Social Security dollars from being taxed. Sometimes we can get you in a 0% tax bracket, just like my interview with David McKnight, who wrote The Power of Zero Teaches. Anyway, look it up online, watch the video that Doug Warren did, and uh, study a little bit about provisional income, but do not allow yourself to be in a situation where if you go take the money you worked so hard uh, to save up, that you're paying 46% tax on it. I hope this helps people. I think you're the best. Renovate retirement with Charlie G. But that's all folks.